Hello everyone, welcome to Mainnet Studies. In this video, we are going to solve one more SQL interval problem. As you can see here, it is given an input table and we need to convert that input table into output table. You can see here, right? And it is given two columns like ID and name in an input table having ID and name of the fruits. And in the output table, we need to extract ID and the name of the fruit. But if you observe here, their formats are different. So here in Apple, a name starting with small letter. Here, it's a capital letter. Here, capital M. Here, small m, right? So similarly, you can observe all this. Thing. You need to understand SQL is a case insensitive. So it won't care about it could be A or it could be capital A, right? So now we should understand how it's going to convert small letters into capital letters, right? So now before solving this problem, you need to know a string function, right? So here we already discussed all string functions in our previous video. Okay, I hope you have gone through. So now we are going to discuss it again, but you should, you should understand here how the small letters converting into capital letters. First, we will see that and after that we are going to solve this problem. Okay, and then I'll discuss with each and every detail like what are the concepts that we are going to use to convert from this to this one. Okay, now we will start, start solving this in SSMS. Now you can see here, this is the given input table that is having ID and name of the fruit, right? So now before starting sol starting to solve this problem, we are going to convert all small or all caps into opposite, right? Either if it is small letter, we need to convert that into capital. If it is capital, then we need to convert that into small, right? So we'll see how we can convert that, okay? So we can see here, I'm just uh, taking one small table having a letters. Let's see that. I have a table selecting letters table as you can see here it's going to give okay this is the board okay before that i'm just changing that column name column names like ids and just a letter okay i hope you know how to convert a column names i'm just using a sp store procedure rename column names from this table right so i'm just using letters dot what is the column name as that l a K G A I A K converting that into just ID okay and that is a column right so you have to mention like this so if you are getting any error then you need to convert okay you can see here it is changing right so now if you observe this table that is changing to ID right so similarly we are going to convert this A G A into letter is that is a column right so we have to use like this so to convert a column name from anything okay so now you can see here it's changed right so now if you observe it is changed to id and letter now we are going to convert if it is a small letter we are going to convert that into capital if it is a caps then we are going to convert that into small letter right so how we can do that how sql is going to converting it so we have all string functions are standard notations like ascii formats right so let's see how we can get ascii formats of i mean ascii uh, of all of them right so i'm just converting selecting ascii of small a right if you use like this it's going to return some error what is the error here so here it's going to consider this a as a column name so we should not apply when you're finding anything like a standard right these are the string functions right so we should apply this as a data so data in the sense we have to apply that as a string by keeping them in a single code okay now if you observe so for each and every character it will be returning some value in ascii format right now you can see what is the value of small a that is 97 right similarly you can see ascii of small b so it, it will be the continuation after 97 it will be returning 98 right for b you can see 98 so similarly it's going to follow remaining okay similarly if, if you want to find for caps also you can see ascii of caps a caps a so now if you observe what is this value 65 similarly for capsule capital b what is the value it could be 66 right so if you observe from all of them so it is capital a is 97 small a is 65 so what is the difference between that is 32 right similarly here also you can see 32 there is a difference between capital letters to small letters that is the difference of 32 right so now 
we are going to use them and then we are going to convert that into caps caps to small smalls to caps okay so now you should also know how okay if you see here how we can convert a number into letter so similarly here we have one more string function that is charac of 97 so if you execute this query you can able to see what is the value of this number in terms of character okay you can see here yeah small a similarly you can see char of 98 you'll be getting small b small b similarly you can also check with 65 and 66 as well you can see capital a similarly you'll be getting for all okay now we are going to use these values to convert if it is a small a we are going to convert into capital okay let's see here here so we are applying a multiple conditions in a single column so therefore we have to use conditional statements right so because in a single column we are applying a multiple conditions okay so now i hope you already know about our okay, case statements we already discussed all of them in our, in our previous videos okay so now we are going to okay we can extract so i'm just trying to return all data with, with that i'm going to return one more okay either if you want to update also you can do that let's do updation okay no problem because we already did many for retrieval so updating what is the what we are going to update we are going to update this letter column if it is caps we are going to convert that into small if it is small we are converting that into capital okay now updating table name what is that table name letters only right so here setting set letter equal to here we are going to applying a multiple condition now that is a case statement like case when so we are going to check whether that is a capital or small letter right so how we can we can check if that ascii value is greater than or equal to 97 then we are going to ensure that is a small letter if it is less than or equal i mean less than 97 we are going to ensure that that those are capital letters right so now case when ascii of letter okay is less than 97 then we are going to ensuring that if it is a less than 97 that is a capital letter right so now how we can convert we have to convert that as by reducing 32 right or sorry here it is capital letters right so we have to add for this ascii value to 37 so that all values will be converted into small letters right so now we are going to convert ascii of letter adding of 32 right so now if you observe it is less than less than 97 means all our capital letters have starting from 65 so here for each and every word i mean each and every letter we are going to add in of 32 not a word for ascii ascii okay so it will be converting into all small letters okay but what we have to return we have to return a letter only right so how we can convert here if you observe we are finding the ascii value of this letter this will be a number so if you add this number with this number you'll be getting a number but we have to return our letter in the output so again we are going to convert that word i mean that number into letter right by using care so we have to use care of this is the one okay now when rs we have one more only one condition right we can use ascii of i mean here you can also use when also when ascii of letter is greater than or equal to 97 then we are going to converting but here this time we are going to subtract it right so because if all are small letters we are going to changing that to capital letters so if you subtract by 32 all those will be con comes to i mean starting to 65 right so now we are going to ensuring all are converting into capital letters now right so after that what we have to do we have to end this okay end this conditional statement so now if i execute this query it's going to convert caps a i mean small letter a to capital letter capital letter a to small letter okay now if you observe capital b capital b this will convert it into small b small b okay you can see here all nine rows got affected right so let's see the table now you can see before it's a small a it's changed to capital A. Now you can see if you observe here also, right? So all letters change from small to capital, capital to small. Okay. Now we'll see how we can solve, how we can apply this concept concept in another given problem. Okay. So here it is small letter A, and we need to convert that into 
capital letter, right? So here, what we are going to do? We are going to use the same logic here in solving this problem. But this time we are going to retrain it, right? So we are just converting a given input table in the given format to as required format, okay? So now what we have to return in the output? We have to return id and now this time we have to check it, right? So how we can check here? We have to check with the starting character. So here in string function we have left off, right? So there is a function string function that is left. So left of any name we are going to find one first starting with one right so starting letter so that's why i'm just using one so now you can see here what is this one it's not returning anything right okay we have to use from letters right we have to because it's a retrieval term so now you can see here again returning so what is that okay it is a letter not a name so now you can see here we have to use letter from this letter we are going to return first character now you can see we are getting it right. So now we have to check either that is a capital letter or small letter first and then we have to convert it. Okay. So now I am going to use conditional statement case when left of letter comma first we are going to check with only one case when this is the letter right. So we have to find the ASCII of this value is greater than or equal to 97 then what we are going to do we have to convert that into small letter sorry it is a small right because greater than or equal to 97 now we have to change that into capital letters by subtracting 32 right so now what we have to do here we have to subtract this subtract by 32 right so you can see here I'm just writing down ASCII of we are just converting here ASCII of all this value right so if you observe left of all this value and for this we are finding ASCII value and we are subtracting 32 for that so again what we have to do so we have to convert that into capital letter sorry that into character right so here we have to use cat okay now you can see here we are returning id and then we are checking the condition if it is a small letter we are changing that into capital letter okay now again what we have to do okay first we will see only this one okay next again what we have to do when ascii of left of letter is less than 97 then we are going to convert of ASCII of left of converting by adding a sorry by subtracting 32 right sorry this is a capital letter right so we have to use 32 addition okay so now for that we are converting now if you observe we are finding the ASCII of left of letter is a column from that we are just extracting only one so for this for enter this we are finding ASCII value first and then we are adding it to 32 because this, if this is a capital letter we are converting that into small letter right so now we have to end this okay if you observe this one you can see what it is returning so invalid column in id so let's see here we have to you we have to use from table right because this is a select command here it's an update command we have to use a table name here but here we have to use from table name right so we have to use from table so now if you have execute this query you can see it is returning only these letters right because we already updated that to if you look at this table now all capital a small a here small v small d right because we updated first so now if you observe here we are taking it from not letters we are taking from we have to take it from fruits right this is a given table okay now we have to use this table okay now you can see here again we are getting error here because of in fruits we have name is there right name column right so we are referred only the letter table. so this is a column name from fruits right so now we are changing that all to name now you can see it is returning 
So it is returning, but before that you can see the table name first. Sorry, selecting all details from this table. If you observe this one, here it is one capital A to small m. So here small a capital M. So we changed that first character into as per our requirement. That is capital to small, small to capital. But remaining we are not getting it right. So how we can get that? So we have we have to return after second letter up to end of the word. Right. So we have one more concept that is substring. So we have to add to our first character to remaining. Right. I mean for this character we have to add all remaining characters in the board. So how we can do that? We have to use concat. Here in concat we have to use addition. That is a plus sign. Okay. Now it is performing concatenation, adding the let all letters to this particular letter. Okay. How we are taking that? So we are taking a substring of substring is a string type of function where we are taking it from so we are taking it from a name column from which point so we extracted first character so we have to start from second character until the end until the end means so you have to starting with second character until the end means you have to use another string function that is length of okay length of the given column okay now so here it's going to add in off from second character to up to the end of the that word from the name column for this particular letter okay similarly we have to add same thing here also okay i'm just writing down now you can see here we are uh, concatenating to this particular character substring of name from starting second index to up to the end so now if you execute this query you can able to see here okay just to avoid your confusion i'll show you all we are getting we are returning all data at the same time this is the data we are returning okay now if you observe here this is a given table right id and name so this is the extracted column that is what we have done right so if you observe small a capital a capital m small m small b capital b small o capital o, capital g small g right so this is our exact output right so now so in output it is returning only id and this is the output right so like we have to return only id comma this one okay now you can see here it is returning right so this is how we are going to convert a given input table from a different formats of fruits name into our required formats even if you want to have this particular name also you can mention like here as name okay now you can see change it to fruit name okay i mean name these are the fruits right so i hope you understood this problem so to solve this problem you need to be very careful in understanding what is the given problem and here you should be uh, in a position to understand all string function so we already discussed right so what are the concepts we have used here string functions and conditional statements right so in string functions we have used here ascii char next substring next left and then length so these all string function we have used here right and then here in case statements we have only i mean case statements like case friend statements so if you are familiar with these two concepts then you can able to easily solve this particular problem okay i hope you understood this problem so if you have any doubt please comment down okay thank you